Hello, friends. Happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day and that the sun is shining wherever you are, or maybe hopefully it will shine later. Um, okay, so today we're going to be making these fun little cards here. Um, I got new paper in, which I'm so excited about, and this is one of those new papers. It's kind of this really dark color with the florals. The backside is kind of a pastel pink. The paper that I'm using today um, for the layering pieces is this gorgeous kind of bronze color with like a kind of a purplish kind of um, to tone to it, which is why the card base is this purple color. So we're going to be layering these together. Um, this is the Pretty Blossom Stem um, die cut. Um, for memory box that I used. Um, I'm going to kind of rein in my cards a little bit because some of my cards recently have been quite um, involved, let's say. Um, so I'm just going to kind of keep this one today just kind of um, short, sweet, and to the point. So um, I love this ribbon here. It's kind of um, sheer colored. It is absolutely beautiful. So we're just gonna wrap that around to the other side there. I'm just gonna kind of press that and hold that in place on my glue there. Um, oh, probably about, let's say seven seconds or so. Oh, I'm always so impatient waiting for glue to dry. If you have double-sided tape, I probably most recommend that because then you can just pull, um, wrap the ribbon around and then just stick it to that other side. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're just going to stick our glue onto our paper here. And we're going to go ahead and mount that onto the bronze color paper here. And we're just going to go ahead and pull that in place. Now, I know that this card is very, very simple, but sometimes the most beautiful, gorgeous things are. And honestly, I really want the focal point to be on this gorgeous textured ribbon, which I love, and also this stunning die cut, which I thought just matched so beautifully with this dark colored background. Okay. Now, something that um, I like to do is when you have a simple die cut like this, but you want to add more to a card, is what you can do is you can actually take your die cut here and kind of cut it apart um, while not losing um, some of the main parts of um, the the image here okay so i'm actually going to go ahead and just trim off this bottom little stem there and i'm going to trim off this little stem oh let's see which one i want to do i'm going to do this one here and i'm going to do this little curly oh no i'm going to leave the little curly on so i'm going to cut off those two okay all right so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put my little stem down. I'm just going to glue on this stem. I'm not really going to glue on the flowers except for on the flower. I'm going to glue on just that on just that petal of the flower there. And I'm not going to put glue on my leaf there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just see what I can do about kind of popping up some of these little things here. Now what I want to do, you can put your start from the corner. You can start it in the middle if you really want your focal point to be on your flower, which in this case I do. Um, or you can kind of do it from a corner, which is kind of fun, especially if you want to add like a little sentiment or something in there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and press that down, making sure not to get glue too much everywhere. And I'm going to go ahead and press that down there. Okay. All right. I'm going to kind of fold my flower up a little bit, kind of curling those up. If you happen to have a little gem, oh, which I'm now going to add to the kit, now that I've decided to do that, I'm just waiting for my little gems. Oh, we're going to add a gem to the center. Of course, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but in this case, oh, I am. I'm actually going to do two. All right, so I'm going to, I've now decided I'm adding a large gem and a small gem to your kit because, oh my gosh. That's going to be so much fun. So we're adding these to the centers of our little flowers here. So now you all know I build the kits and then I put the cards together and then I decide later, oh my gosh, I want to add these other elements. All right. So this just makes this kind of fun. And I'm actually going to add in a few more little gems because I feel like otherwise if you don't, then it's going to be out of place. So I'm going to add the little gems kind of here and there. Kind of makes it kind of fun. A little bit of the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive, which is what I'm using, works really great for uh, adhering your gems down. Because it just holds that in place. 
and I've given you some large and small gems here so you really do not need very much glue for gluing down the tiny little gems oh my gosh it's so little I went from having like a super basic card to being like, ah, oh my gosh, gems. Because I get so excited, you guys. That's what's going on there is because I get excited. My cards can't just be basic. They have to be like fun. I'm a fun kind of a person. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Oh, oh my gosh, so fun. Oh, and so glittery. Okay, so the focal point is normally on the, the leaves, but is now on this amazing flower and the gems. Gem gems. Oh gosh, I'm such, I'm such a gem lover, you guys can't help it you don't have to include the gems but they come in the kit all right so then on the inside of the card I'm going to go ahead and put one of my little leaf sprigs on the far left and one of my little leaf sprigs on the far right um the reason why I do this is because um it's, I mean of course you can put your leaf if your message is just going to be on the right side you can put your leaves on the left the bottom left and then the top right um usually when I send cards like to my grandparents which is for those of you <laughs> that know me um, I like to send my the cards to my grandparents. Um, I usually like to write across the entire thing. And so I want, um, so that's why I've, that's why I'm saying, at least with my card, I'm going to be doing it all the way on the left and then on the right. So then that way I can write my message all the way across and not feel like, Ooh, wow, really it's the, your focal points with your little sprigs are only on the far right side, but then your message goes everywhere. So I'm kind of planning for when I write my message. Um, and I know that it's going to be long <laughs> because I like to update my grandparents and because I'm moving into my new space and with my store. And so I know that they're going to uh, want updates. Now you guys know or what I'm going to tell my grandparents. Okay. All right. Oh, a little bit more glue on that leaf. And it's, you may find that because the paper has a little bit of a finish on it because it's the metallic paper, um, it may take just a moment for it to dry the paper has to bond to the glue okay all right so there's our first card let's get the cute little springs inside which looks so beautiful in that purple and then of course the front with the flower oh how fun all right that's card number one